Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Miko Beetle X5 215mm frame. Inside this box we're getting the canopy which is the main reason that drew my eye and I decided to buy this frame. It is made out of carbon and has a very interesting look. In addition we're getting four arms, two front ones and two rear arms. Their thickness is 6mm so they're pretty thick but they are made of balsa, which is wood, and mixed with carbon. You can see this is already a little bit chipped and it's new arms. And I think that the reason they decided in the V2 version of this frame to change it to full carbon arms because they weren't durable enough. So I might need to order new set of arms. But anyway, they are replaceable and you can buy them separately, so that's pretty good. In addition, we're getting a Velcro strap with the Micro OC logo, screws and a bracket for an FPV camera. And finally, the bottom plate, which is also made out of carbon and has the iFlight logo. So I'm re not really sure what is the connection with Micro OC, because after all, this is the iFlight RC. Beetle X5. Assembling the frame is very easy. All you have to do just align the arms with the holes on the bottom. Then just put the cover on top. Of course, when you're building the frame with real parts, you have to place also the ESC and everything in the middle. After that, I'm just going to insert the screws on the sides and then just secure it with the provided nuts. And that's it. You can see the frame looks pretty good. You have this cutout for the FPV camera. It also provides it with protection. And on the back, we also have a room for the VTX antenna and also this cutout for the antennas of the receiver. What you don't have on the sides is a cutout for the USB port, which means you will have to figure out how to configure your flight controller after you build everything up so you might need to use an extender and maybe place the usb port over here or maybe you will have to connect a uart connector and like i've done in the carbon star build but it's not the same because the carbon star had a part on top which was removable and here nothing is removable so i think the best option for you is just to use a usb extender and maybe glue it here and then you will able to configure the flight controller after everything is built. The weight of the frame is 82.9 grams, so it's a pretty light frame. In order to build it, you will need to use a 4-in-1 ESC controller because the arms are very narrow and it's going to be hard for you to mount the ESCs on the arms and it's also going to damage its unique look. The ESC wires should be inserted from the bottom, that's why we have three cutouts on every side so they really thought it through so you have to just wire it from here and insert the motor wires into these holes the supported mount is 30 by 30 millimeters so it's pretty standard it doesn't support 20 by 20 millimeters flight controller and escs so either use an adapter or just use the standard 30.5 by 30.5 millimeters boards I still need to decide if I'm going to build it or not. If so, I'm probably going to post a build video in the next weeks or so. So as always, thank you for watching my video. This was just a short overview of this frame, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.